Hey, we're back. So when we last left off, we were, well, having to deal with this. Which is kind of a headache, but we'll get there eventually. I sort of remember what, what I'm supposed to do here. fully going damn it I was I'm fully going off of like muscle memory right now I don't remember if I'm going the right way there it is I was going the right way I'm sorry little man this is just something that I gotta do. Rest in peace, little stick man. Gotta go to rooftops, right? Here's the shortcut from Cymbalon. I should probably unlock Cymbalon, huh? <laughs> Seems like it would be helpful. Okay. And while I'm over here, I actually... I haven't unlocked that menu theme from the that yellow thing. So I may as well do that now. At the waters, get a break, and just head this direction. Okay, good. <laughs> I was worried it was gonna kill me or something. I would prefer not to get booted out after I'm already this deep in. Oh, 
Oh, there's a weird vignette on the screen now, too. I wonder if this is what it looks like if you if you enter here from Symbolon. Alright, and now we get to the part where I have no shame in looking at the map because, my god. It's a little bit complicated. this. Question, actually, what is the, the most annoying map? You can make a case for Omari's Labyrinth. I think, honestly, Floating Brain World. Which is objectively one of the most obnoxious areas. I forget. Okay, there we go. Right. Right, right, I remember this place now. That's a one-way path, I don't want to do that. sketch this out in reverse because I completely forget where I'm supposed to go from here. There we go. staircase and then this leads to Red Room.
thing. God, that's a vending machine. <laughs> I think that's in um freaking it's like Rainbow Hieroglyph World. That's it's en route to um Voxel World. But I don't really feel like it. I'm gonna be honest. Hmm. Where to go now? All the expeditions are done. Honestly. There's an area I haven't visited in a while that I kind of want to revisit. This is still one of my all-time favorite areas. It's just so cool. Just imagine going to sleep, waking up, and finding a place like this. Go away, Del Trade and eligibility. Just imagine. I don't know. It's just so. such an incredible, cool place. Cool, awesome, epic. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> I was worried for a moment there. What does make me kind of sad is if we go in here, I don't think I can listen to this guy's song anymore. Nope. I'm so sad. <laughs> such a, that's such a cool little thing. And I just, I can't do it. Then there's this. I, I don't know what to make of this. It's very bizarre. And then of course, up here, the bunny thing and the Majora's Mask Moon. Cool. Just cool. Now, the next thing I want to do is set into motion other things for Lauren Tower. Because I already went to the Colo did the Colossus event. There's a lot you have to do. And I've done some of these things, but not all of them. Get, cost, get caught by the ghost teacher while in detention. I have done that. Get squished by the pillars from entering any of the rooms of the deepest part of the dungeon. You must encounter, encounter the event twice. I don't actually know if I've done this twice. I know if all, I think in this file, I might have only done it once. That's probably what I'm going to do. Space. Unequip the spacesuit effect in the main area, waking Urasuki up as a result. That I'm going to have to do, because I note that it says the main area, and when I unequipped the spacesuit, I was on the moon, which led to a to a um, special version of it that probably doesn't count. Watch the Colossus of Romb event. Uh, finish the penguin game, trigger the chasers event, then get caught by the fox, ma fox masked man in the corridor. I've already done that. Watch the glitch ending, or bleak future. Okay. A lot of stuff having to do with, um, a lot of stuff having to do with getting caught by chasers. Let's start with Underwater Amusement Park. Or rather, mm -hmm. 
trying to think how I want to route this. Sorry, Beret Girl. It was a necessary evil. So now I gotta go to Taper Song's place. Hey, Octo Chun. How you doing? Just imagine a dream where you wake up to this, or like the first thing you see is this. You're just endlessly climbing a ladder while eyeballs on long strings stare you down. It's just terrifying. This is a really cool event, or a really cool area, rather. I got a job to do. Take me away. Yep. <laughs> All right. Next item on the docket is Underwater Amusement Park. Now, give me a moment to check something. I'm, there's a badge that I don't know if it is here. It's actually not interesting. There is a rather convoluted badge called Lonely Ur or there's a rather comp convoluted event called Lonely Urasuki. And it happens in the underwater amusement park. I say it's complicated because in order to trigger it, you need to go to every single area. You need to go to every single area in the amusement park and then return to the entrance where the pillars are. I've been going to Atlantis a lot today. Wait, what the heck? She's back? Also, after this, I should probably save, because I've been going for like 45 minutes. It's always best to save regularly, just in case. say, finding this place organically, and I mentioned this the first time I came here recording it, finding this place organically was absolutely terrifying. Yeah, it's the, these are the pillars I'm talking about. So, in order to trigger the Lonely Urasuki event, I need to visit all of these. I need to visit the clown area, I need to visit the area with the weird Bill Cyphers dancing, I need to visit... I don't know what to call this... pink... smiley face area... boat area... I haven't... I've never even been down to these two. 
I've always just beeline for the clowns. This place actually. Okay. I know I've already seen this event before, but, like, how can I not pay this event the respect it deserves? Come back here in a bit. <laughs> this music's familiar. What the hell? visited every single area, including the clown area. So now, my next goal should be to get back to the main area. I forget where the blue portal leads. Um, just a moment. Ah, there we go. This is different, I think. I guess I did something right. Lonely Urasuki, where is the fence? There you go. There we go. messed up. So is the implication supposed to be that Urasuki was abandoned was abandoned at an amusement park? Oh, 
Uh, there's wallpapers. I need to make sure to be vigilant and interact with them and do as many of these as possible. So I don't have to go back and do this again. Oh god. That's terrifying. Can't believe Urasuki is a theater kid. <laughs> There we go. Oh god, and now I'm the one. I can't open the menu either, it's just making them all do the creepy smile. Damn. That is quite interesting. <laughs> Urasuki is so cool, I wish, bl I wish blonde women were real. I think I'll end- I think I'll end it off with the... the crush event again. I do really like the detail that all of those things that are on top of the building are chasers. Because you've got the clown, you got the shadow lady, you've got the weird wobbity wobbity with the with the hands. You've got the thing that looks like a bat. Yeah. Okay, this is a little bit loud. I'll turn that down just a hair. Here he is, the whoopity whoopity. The hands. Lovely. Children's bones. Fun fact, by the way. Alright, now it's... I can turn the volume back up. Fun fact, by the way. A lot of games choose not to depict children getting killed, even the implication of such. Because that's... Ugh. Because that is apparently a way to get to get your product X-rated. It's like strictly, strictly prohibited. 
It's like strictly, strictly prohibited to show children dying on the screen. At least in movies and TV. Video games, it's a, video games, it's a bit weirder. But regulation for video games has never been clear cut. But I guess it's just the way that it rolls with it being relatively way newer. That's all I got for now. Again, I'm probably going to record two more videos today, but I'm going to take a break to go get some lunch. So it's going to look like it's going to look like I recorded this on a different day after this point. But I'll see you there. Thanks so much for watching, y'all.